So last time on Bear Grylls vs. the Apocalypse, I uh, I found a little tower, and uh, yeah, and I died a few times, and the infection's starting to spread, and well, it's just, well, it's just not going to be great. But I elevated my house off the ground a little bit. Hopefully I'll keep some infection from happening. But in any case, if the infection starts to come around here, I'll probably have to move anyway. The ground will be different. They'll be spawning everywhere. It's just not going to be fun. So I started off my day just uh, just making some more chest. I wanted some more space for now. I was sure a nomadic lifestyle would probably have to be my way of life, but at the moment, I didn't want to think about that. I just wanted to sort my items and put my crap away. Even cut down some trees. I'd been hearing parasites near my house. I didn't really know what to do. I did know that I wanted to start growing stuff. And unfortunately, that would probably mean I would need glass, dirt, and buckets. So I just went ahead and got a bucket together. So I brought some dirty water and I put it in my house. And then once I had dirty water in my house, I could drink the dirty water, which was pretty nice. I went ahead and hoed the ground. I wasn't really sure if it would be any good for me. And now it was time to decide what would be an, infect, an effective form of food in such a small area. I wasn't even sure if I had wheat seeds, but I did. Wheat, unfortunately, is a pain in the ass, though, so I decided against it. And uh, I decided to grow beetroot for some reason. Or did I? Tough to say. I say a lot of things in the past tense, but right now I'm actually doing the thing myself. As you can see, it's pretty nice that you can tell you're on the blue team in the chat. That's pretty cool. I didn't really have a plan of go as of now. I just kind of did things. Got the iron out of my chest, you know, put that in another chest. Said to transfer beetroots back into this chest. Sort it all up, and then I noticed I had some space, so uh, I was going to keep that axe with me because I did plan on cutting down some trees. I figured I would need wood for many various things and stuff and when the infection would take over the world I wouldn't have much wood to deal with. I saw this infected pig though and I, I figured I would take it on. I knew they hit different and there was more than one and it was going to explode. Great. The infection is picking up. And then it was going to go slime into this pig. Fortunately, though, it didn't seem super interested in the pigs, so I just kind of tried to clear up some land where I would actually be able to hit the things. Where? And I got rid of them. I dealt with some of the parasites. Now, this was far from over. I even saw the demo man over there. Wasn't sure what I was going to do about him. I was sure that he was going to rock my shit, though. If I wasn't careful. So, I ate some raw meat and hoped not to be infected by it because honestly I wasn't sure at this point if I was gonna be and I was pretty thirsty honestly uh, so kind of just wanted to go visit my engineer friend see what he was up to I felt pretty good and I was happy to see that my engineer buddy was still sticking around although I didn't know what happened to his machines he had a panic attack out and it looked like he had previously murdered the zombie which was nice I was happy to take the meat wasn't sure what was going on over there, but I figured that it was kind of just a place. So I kind of wanted to investigate. So I meandered over that direction, and then I noticed I was hot as shit. So I went in the house with my dirty meat. And I ate it. And then I mined, I mined some bookies. Got my books. There were some cobwebs in here. I was still pretty freaking hot. And, of course, it was indeed a railway. Didn't know what I was going to do with that information. Kind of just walked over to this other house, which I had remembered to have previously been the house with the baby zombie. Kind of scared me. I was sure it was full of things that were no good, and immediately I noticed there was a spawner right there. As most of the places here do have spawners. It was not a huge surprise. But it definitely wasn't my favorite thing to see. I would have preferred a house with just chests of loot and nothing guarding them. So 
So I kind of just decided to walk back towards this house that I'd already been in. It seemed pretty quiet. Didn't know how long that would last. When all was said and done, I made it to the roof, and I, I just kind of looked, looked around. I saw a runic spawner of some sort. Kind of wanted to go for it. There was nothing really of note in the building, at least in the top portion. I was kind of scared to go in the bottom. I couldn't see very well. I didn't know how safe I would be going outside. Zombies were spawning. My engineer friend was just kind of hanging somewhere. I didn't even remember which direction he was in, honestly. But, right here, we got a sniper. And I do happen to be on his team. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to hire him. I heard zombies attacking. There's a baby zombie and the sniper seems like he was trying to line up a shot. And he murdered it. He got a good shot on that thing. Thank you very much, sniper. That made my day a little bit easier. I was still pretty thirsty though and that baby zombie did put a little flick on my health bar. I decided to go for that spawner thingy even though it would probably be my undoing just after that. And the spawner was gone. Like Eureka. Didn't really know how I was going to get rid of the elementals but I figured maybe sniper would help me out that. Ahem, Australian man. Would you be so kind? So I tried to scooch him over a little bit. Then, I just had to lower the elementals to him. Unfortunately, I could no longer run, for I was very thirsty. I was able to knock away one of the elemental thingies. No thanks to the sniper. The sniper took a little bit of interest, but he didn't seem too interested. And when the elemental came around to stab me, I was scared, so I ran away. Then the sniper tried to line up his shot. I'm not sure if he hit, but he tried. Then the elemental, of course, ran away back to its hidey hole. And the sniper? Well, he was interested. Unfortunately, he turned around at just the wrong time for this. And his interest was no longer on said balls. He shot it, and it was dead. We were the best of friends. So I came over here and I looted the crap out of this place, getting more bombs. Always need more bombs. I was thirsty as hell, though. So I figured I should go find some dirty water. And wouldn't you know it, there's a fantastic building just over here with some dirty water. And then I, uh, well, I drank some water. I felt immediately better. I had some spectral dust and I had some pork chops. I had fought and killed a few infections. The leaves were starting to pick up though, which worried me. It seemed like a storm would come soon. I saw a soldier in the distance though. I was hopeful. Maybe it was a pyro. Let's see, sir, who are you? Yeah, you're a soldier. Alright, there was an airstrike soldier over here, and he was down to clown. I could hear him yelling, and he was ready. Didn't really know what I honestly wanted to do over here. Just kind of wanted to hang out near the soldier. And with the wind picking up, you couldn't be too safe. I noticed there was a Taliban man in there. And I saw some fire effects, and I really wasn't sure why. What could have possibly made that little bit of fire? Was there a pyro in the building, too? I didn't know. So I just bothered not to do that. I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life. In Minecraft, you typically go for the goal of the Ender Dragon, but these days you just kind of want to survive and prepare for the onslaught. Unfortunately, I didn't know if barbed wire was a thing. So I just kind of chilled this soldier for a teeny bit. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have any coal. And a sniper was starting to shoot at me. It was kind of scary. I was sure he was going to hunt me down. He was a mercenary after all. So I needed to find my friendly soldier man. If I wanted to stand up to the sniper, I would need backup. So I hanged out near Big Baby Blue over here and ate some dirty flesh. Which, surprisingly, wasn't dirty this time. The soldier also wasn't interested in my 
pursuit of happiness. I was certain for certain. So I started murdering sheep. Thankful again that they weren't parasite sheep. It made my life a lot easier. So I munched on some mutton. And uh, well, look at that. I'm healing. Not a ton, but I am healing. I wanted to come sneak around and fight the sniper man. I knew he wasn't just going to let me go easily. So, I came in expecting SMG combat. I didn't know where the sniper went though, which was scary. It scared me. He could be anywhere, preparing his line of fire. I would know once I saw the laser. But I didn't see one yet. I did hear him though. I don't know where I heard him, but I did hear him. And that could only mean bad news. I thought I heard him this direction, so I started to meander that away. But I found him. He was hiding among the tree line. And I killed him. Barely. He was hurting me pretty bad. He quick scoped me. And it hurt. But he was dead, and I had achieved rifle rounds and some Jurati too. What I was going to use the Jurati for at the moment, I wasn't really sure. I just knew that I was hungry. So, kind of just wanted to continue on my quest to kill more sheep. I started going the other direction. I was also pretty dang thirsty. This did not help my scenario. So, what do you think I did next? I drank some dirty water. And then I was off. I needed to find my friend. I needed a dispenser. I need a dispenser right here, in fact. So I kind of went and looked around for where he was hanging out the last time. I didn't hear him, so I was a little bit scared. And, unfortunately, I found some pistol ammo, so I could only assume the worst. The engineer must have died. Poor engineer. Uh, yeah. They decided to mine more of the... Uh, villagers crops and I replanted them because I was feeling nice grabbed some of their potatoes too placed them with wheat as much as I like potatoes in video games because I'm one of the few Irish people that doesn't like potatoes I uh, they're not super filling so I munched on some anyway they weren't bad it was better than most of the food that I have been eating recently. So I decided to get some more wheat. Talked to a librarian. He didn't really have anything to say of interest. I don't even think they knew that their world was going to be turned upside down soon enough. I was really hot. So I decided to take a bath while eating my potatoes. I noticed the wind was breaking up pretty high, though. Not particularly great signs. So I chilled in the water, got my temperature going down a little bit while I munched on some tasty food. Trying to keep mindful for infectors around the area. I was sure that the other side of the bridge would be their main base of operations. I wasn't sure what the noise I heard was, but I was hoping it was a chicken. And then I did something stupid. I thought... Yeah, let's go fight some more infectors. And of course this one's gonna explode. Into the little sluggy bastards. So I killed the little slugs. And uh, was thoroughly disgusted. I forgot that combat also generates heat. But I was happy to get rid of that parasite. I didn't want it attacking just random mobs. I knew that there was a lot of infection over here at one point. Wasn't really sure where it all went. I wanted to find out. Wanted to make sure it didn't all meld together into an amalgamate beast. And I found it. This wild pig started charging me like there was no tomorrow. Thankfully it wasn't a bursting one. And there were more. It seems like pigs were the main target of the parasite right now. They were easy to infect. And they hurt. 
I was on fire from sprinting. So I tried to get in some shade. Honestly, I just wanted to be a little bit farther away from the infection. So I cooled off just a teeny bit. I was sure those little brown, or those little black parasite thingies were gonna be a problem. It seemed like this pig wanted my potatoes, so I fed him one, because you never know when your last day will be. I chopped some grass because I wanted to kill the parasite, but then another one snuck up on me. I killed one, and then I killed the other. I felt like a vigilante. I had dealt with some of the infection. I had effectively slowed the spread, but there were more pigs down there. I was also burning. The pigs were trying to surround me. I was able to kill one, and then the other, and neither of the two burst. That was lucky. To celebrate, I drank some dirty water and ate some potatoes. I saw that demo man from earlier and I thought, one day we were friends. No longer. No longer. But as I was pretty excited to slow the parasite, I, uh, well, I don't know. I just kind of decided I was going to go home. In real life, I started to feel off, which when I deal with things disgusting, sicknesses and parasites and when I think about them they tend to get me in a pretty bad mood so when I started to sweat I was probably going to be in for a night in real life I was pretty dang disgusted this mod was making me feel physically ill in real life already I really didn't want to go any further with it I decided to call it a day so I just wanted to make it home before I did to celebrate my way home, I drank some dirty water, and then I missed my door, because I just wanted to get inside. Missed my door a few times. Got my door finally closed, made my way up here. I checked to make sure that I had actually put this in my atlas at home, and I did. So yeah, here we are, another video. I feel physically ill in real life. So I'm going to get out of here, but if you all like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll torture myself a little bit more for you guys. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.